Some firms are referred to as natural monopolies, and they enjoy such strong cost advantages to being so big and so powerful that their marginal cost curve never starts sloping upward. In these cases, marginal cost is perfectly horizontal, marginal cost is constant, and it equals the firm's average total cost. Though marginal cost doesn't technically have to be constant. When we refer to natural monopolies, a pure monopoly, the marginal cost curve could resemble uh, what we see here. Now, we find the firm's profit maximizing quantity, or marginal revenue, equals marginal cost. This is the quantity the firm is going to produce. And we bring it up to the demand curve. This is the price that the firm is going to charge and place this, this price on the consumer. Where demand equals marginal cost, this refers to as the socially optimal price and quantity. Well, because this is a, a powerful firm, a powerful monopoly, this firm can experience profits. So profits would be located in this area here. Everything above average total cost. Now, because the firm is so powerful, they're only producing a low quantity and they're charging a high price and they're not producing at where society wants. Society would like the quantity to be way over here and prices to be lower. We have a large area representing deadweight loss. This entire area in blue represents deadweight loss for the natural monopoly. So remember, a natural monopoly, marginal cost can equal average total cost, though marginal cost doesn't technically have to be constant.